Hey, welcome to Tech and Modal channel. I'm Mike, your host, and today we're going to be working on the Chrysler Concorde. We're going to be replacing the fuel filler neck. So this is it, right here. And the part that's actually really bad on the car is the vacuum line. It's all rotted away and stuff like that. This is the fuel neck itself that goes into the tank. This is the piece that I actually covered with the uh, rubberized sealant. It did work for quite some time. I'll put a link to that. It'll come up. You guys can go check it out if you want. I think this is gonna be fairly easy. Three bolts on the top, should be one bolt for the hanger, and then your hoses. I already jacked the car up just to make it easy to get underneath there, safety stand. All right, in here, take off the gas cap. You're gonna see one, two, three Phillips head screws. I'm gonna take those off first. Now we gotta get it underneath the car. And it's kinda of tough to see, but over here, you have a clamp. This one here has a fitting. So on this hose here, I had to cut it and figure out what I'm gonna do because I couldn't get the piece out. It's all mangled in there. It's all rusted to hell. It wouldn't come out. This clamp would not come out. Socket wouldn't work. Screwdriver wouldn't work. So I ended up using vice grips on the head of the clamp. Gonna work this out with the screwdriver. All right, gonna break it free all the way around the hose. And then the idea is to slide everything out. There we go. All right, she's out. Let's work it down this way. Let's see. All right, and this is what was causing the code. It was all rusted to hell, had small leaks in it. All right, small pinholes in it. I mean, it's just rusted to hell. Um, even the bracket that holds it on is just gone. So, that's the new one. So I had to order another one. So here it is a couple days later. These cars, they have two different filler neck listings. One's a 35 inch, one's a 36 inch. When we get this in, then we'll do some video. I'll show you how we, uh, it's all in. Fuel line's connected into the new fuel uh, filler neck, new clamp. Now the uh, EVAP hose, what I did was I cut that connector off as close as I could. I heat this hose up with a uh, heat gun and then I clamped it right onto that. So it's a snug fit and I threw the clamp on there just as a, you know, extra protection to hold it on. They do sell kits if you wanted to cut this back here. You could, they have a kit and, and put the new clamp back on the way it was originally. But this is gonna work just fine. As long as it doesn't leak, I'm good. All right, there's only one bracket that holds this in and that's the bracket right there. Everything's loose right now. So we're gonna go up top and get that uh, fuel door back together. Plastic filler neck cover here, whatever we wanna call it. But the holes don't line up. I'm just gonna have to uh, drill some holes in the, t in the plastic. to make two holes because the holes from the factory did not match this is what it is it's in gotta get the uh, gas cap on the gas cap i like to put a little bit of silicone grease all right silicone based grease on the uh, seals that just helps them to last longer the top is in only thing i got left to do is the bracket bolt tighten that up and don't forget your bracket for your muffler to put it back in don't forget to put that rubber back on. And uh, reset the computer. All right, codes are erased. This repair is done. Car's back on the road, no more check engine light. Hopefully it stays that way. God knows what else is gonna go. <laughs> All right, y'all take care. Hopefully this is helpful in some way. And uh, hey, thanks for being here with me. Appreciate it, bye-bye.